Let's take a look at making the stuffy for the Easter pocket bag. Now a stuffy is basically a soft toy. It's usually made in one piece in the hoop, has details on one side and is plain fabric on the underside. So we have our cutaway stabilizer in the hoop. We've put our batting on top of our placement line and stitch around the edge and then trim back one to two millimeters from the edge. We're going to lay a piece of, we're using a fleecy fabric for our, the body of our bunny. So this is a micro fleece. Now we're going to actually stitch our outline for our front paw. Add our fabric and then trim back one to two millimeters from the stitching line. Carry on with, on with our sequence of embroidery, adding some texture and some fill to start the bunny to take shape. We have an Easter egg, placement line, laying fabric down. Stitching the fabric down, then we will trim back to the stitching line, ready for the satin stitch. The colours for the fills and the details are up to you, as long as they are visible. Got our ears, placement line from the ears, we'll place some fabric over. Switch our placement, uh, switch our fabric into position and then we will trim back. Satin stitching around the edge of our ears. Some cheeks. Our little nose and then our eyes. Whiskers. Now we're going to join our two pieces of back lining. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually place our smaller and larger pieces together and we're going to sew a seam across the width of the back panel, leaving a small three inch opening along the seam. So we're going to actually stitch down to our pin using a half inch seam. And then start again three inches away so we have a gap in our seam that we will be able to pull our toy inside out. It's just so as that seam doesn't go around the perimeter of the actual stuff, it goes along its back. This could be hand stitch closed, it could be glued, it could be machine stitch closed. Now we're having this on the lower part of our body of our stuffy. Just put some washi tape over that seam so as that the foot doesn't get caught up in that seam. Then we'll do our final row of stitching, which is just inside the external line. The external line will end up being a cutting line. Let's take our pins out, take our Washi tape off that seam and then trim just to the outside line of our perimeter. Because we've got all these curves and we've got these innies and outies in around the perimeter, we need to actually cut with a fairly close uh, margin and we're looking at a, what I call a shy quarter of an inch. Just so as those curves turn out nicely. 
Once we're done here, we actually need to clip our curves and we've clipped all the way around the edge of the project because there's so many different little curvy areas. Clip into the points there on the body. We're not clipping to the stitches, we're just, we're clipping halfway through that seam allowance. And once complete, that will allow us to roll our seam when the item has been turned through to the right side. Trim off any square corners if you've got them. Scrunch up the project and then gently turn through to the right side through the hole you've left in the back of the lining. Take your time. Can be a little bit fiddly when you're dealing with fur fabrics or fleece fabrics because they don't want to um, come through easily. But once you started, it's easy. Push all those corners out. We're using a awl to go inside and just push around the edges of the seam. Use the tip of the awl. Cute little stuffy. Work out our corners, work out our cork curves, and then give it a light press once we have all our edges turned out. Very light press. Being aware that you actually are using a, um, a novelty fabric on the right side, so you don't be too um, overzealous with steam, otherwise you'll flatten the pile. Very good. And now we want to actually then stuff with some polyfill um, filler or batting or whatever you have at hand. We're just using polyester fill. You could use wool, you could use microfiber, whatever you choose to stuff with. Stuff it quite well. You don't want it to be too uh, flexible. We want the little project to be able to stand up quite nicely with inside the pocket of the bag. Very cute. And we're just going to hand sew the section closed. Could be machine sewn, just with edge to edge. Um, so you'd put your two folded edges together and stitch down there. It just depends on what you wish to do. Nothing wrong with hand sewing this closed. And again, we do it across the back of the project rather than along the curved seam because it actually is a little bit easier to work with. And it keeps those curved seams around the outside edge of the project looking smooth and concise. Tie that off well, blend our thread, and there we have our stuffy. Let's go to the pocket. So we put our batting on. And then we have our hole in the middle. So we're going to trim our batting back to our stitching line, then we're going to trim out the hole in the middle. So we're making the front section of the, pan the um, side panel pocket. That we got, there'll be three of these in this bag, all having a different toy inside the hole. So we're cu cutting out the window here. We're only cutting the batting out. We're not cutting the stabilizer. And we're going to do our placement line for our first piece of fabric. Just be aware where you're cutting. We want to be cutting around the curves, but we want to be leaving fabric in our seam allowances, sides and bottom. Let's put on our next piece of fabric. So we've got the sky on now. Let's put the, the, the green for the grass on or for the land on. Same deal. Stitch our fabric down, cut out our edges, round our curve and out to our seam allowance, making sure we have leaving our seam allowance for something to sew. Now we're going to embroider our grass and twigs. 
placement line for our next fabric, which is our edge of our egg. So it looks like the animal is jumping out of the egg. Lovely and bright. And trim out through the middle. Just doing our side pieces of our sky and our ground so as that they are stitched together and then we're doing the outside of our egg with satin stitch and then doing some embroidery on it. Let's place our back onto the front panel. So we're going to stitch around our perimeter. And then stitch our circle, our inner circle. Okay, so we're going to cut out our inner circle so as we can actually put a satin stitch around the area. So we used a tear away stabilizer so that will tear away. I mean, sorry, wash away stabilizer, so that will wash away. We've just changed up color um, to our next panel. We wanted to show that we've actually put some bag stabilizer on the, as the, the, the true back panel of this panel. We, that was the first panel we put on the back was to actually sew out our circle. This one here was actually to finish our complete panel. And we've got bag stabilizer on the back just to make this a little bit more rigid. So it's stitching around the perimeter area. Take our washi tape off. So you need to trim the bag stabilizer back a little bit because that's being caught in the seams and, and it's going to add a little bit of bulk to the seams but you do need the rigidity on the side of the the um the the panel you can just use batting another layer of batting if you wish okay trim up our seams And then voila, soak. And that all disappears into the water because it's a water soluble stabilizer. We use two layers of water soluble stabilizer to do this project on because our one is quite fine that we use. You may only need one depending on what brand you are using. Soak and dry. We leave this overnight to dry. And that will be ready to add to your next three panels. Lastly, let's do the back. So the three panels on the back of this bag are just plain. So they've just got, they've got um, um, our stabilizer and our bag batting and some bag stiffener. Trim back to our stitch line, one to two millimeters. And then we'll place our fabric on top. Something pretty and it matches the inside of the front window. So attach that. Then we're just going to do some light quilting and embroidery to hold the layers together. Once that complete, remove from the hoop. Remove our pins and trim our seams back to half inch.
And there we have it. Three top panels, three back panels, 